welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show how to install xampp server and how to use it in windows 10 machine so let's get started open your favorite web browser and browse apachefriends.org then you will find this download link for xampp for windows with latest php version you can download it in another language from here and if you want to download the other version please click here and choose from this list okay I have already downloaded the latest XAMPP server for Windows okay I am going to install it now okay go to download folder and double click on the executable file okay allow this app to make changes to your device so click on yes you will see a warning click on ok and then click on next to continue installation okay now check apache mysql filezilla ftp server mercury mail server and tomcat and then program language php perl and program languages php my admin web elijah and fax send mail okay now click on next now select or choose a folder to install xampp c drive is the default installation location we can change it from here if we want to change the location okay now select the language and then click on next unmark and then click on next now click on next now files are unpacking inside newly created directory in C drive and you will see okay Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some feature of this app. So now click on Allow Access. Creating an uninstaller so that the next time we can 
uninstall this application okay installation completed if you want to start the control panel now mark this otherwise unmark and then click on finish this is the XAMPP control panel from here we can start the Apache server so click on start start with a default port now go to web browser and browse localhost this is the default port 80 ok change this default port from here click on config and then open httpd dot configuration file now source listen ok you can change 80 to 8080 or 8081 and save this file and now stop Apache server and start again and see the changed port number 8081 ok I have changed the port number so gain access to localhost with this port 8081 ok now click on php my admin to gain access php my admin user interface and we will see access denied error because my SQL server is stopped it so click on start and now reload allow this app so click on allow access now we can create database from here you can change to default port again save this file and restart apache server now we don't need to use the port number in the url create a new database you can change the encoding type from here and 
and click on create to create a new database with the name db now open database and create a table so put here the table name number of the column of the table and click on go to create table name users ok help from this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video